Hello YouTube viewers and random Torchwood fans and those of you following the Nard. Now to celebrate the end of Miracle Day I've decided to review this which is the Series 1 Wave 1 Captain Jack Harkness figure and here he is in his frankly awful looking packaging. As you can see there it says Torchwood up at the top here, a uh, highly detailed 5 inch figure and uh, fully detachable collector's display plinth written down there. Nice picture of Captain Jack down there and then some kind of weird barcode logo down here with Captain Jack Harkness written here and I really don't like this packaging here because as you can see uh, the colours clash, it looks awful. It kind of looks like the opening titles from Series 1 and 2, but, you know, on a really bad neon lit day, so it really does look terrible. However, though, it does show off the figure really nicely, as you can see there. You can see it from all angles, which really does look cool. Flipping it around the back here, as you can see, it doesn't match the front of the packaging at all, which, again, adds to the fact that it really is awful. Um, Torture written across there. First wave available now uh, with Captain Jack, Gwen, the Cyberwoman, which I'm still lamenting the fact I couldn't get my hands on her. <clears throat> anyway, and uh, a weevil down here. And then the second wave coming soon, the Blowfish, Yanto, Toshiko, and Captain John Hart. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up for the packaging. So now let's crack this open and take a look at the figure itself. Okay, here we are, and uh, as far as detail goes, well, the head sculpt is kind of okay. I do like the hair, it's detailed very nicely there around both sides. The actual face sculpt is a little bit off, and uh, his eyes are a little bit wonky there, and uh, kind of looks like he's a little bit cross-eyed, and uh, his expression in general is kind of messed up, but uh, apart from that, it is okay. As you can see on the neck, there's some really great detail there too. Uh, the shirt is detailed wonderfully well from the collar down the buttons down the front here, uh, little bits of creases um, around the whole shirt do really look great the braces look excellent too they carry the whole way around to the back of the figure here and as you can see they actually pull his shirt up there kind of too so great attention to detail has been paid um as far as his arms go well as you can see uh the shirt again carries over because as you can see there the uh, shirt arms have been rolled up which does look great uh he has a little watch here on uh one side and on the other side he has this customary vortex manipulator which has been detailed on there really really great really does look absolutely wonderful um the actual trousers here well as you can see uh he has a little belt there across the middle uh his little gun holster there too which doesn't open so that's kind of a shame like you could put his gun in there but uh, unfortunately not and uh, the trousers are detailed kind of okay as you can see they can see the lines there and uh, the shoes are a different color to the trousers and uh, detailed marvelously well so as far as detail goes it is quite steady but uh, I really don't like the face too much when it comes to articulation, well, Jack's head can sort of spin the full 360, but it is hindered here by his shirt collar, and I don't really want to spin it the whole way around because it could chip the paint off his neck very easily. Uh, the arms do spin 360 here at uh, the shoulder here. No bicep and tricep articulation, which is kind of a shame, but uh, the elbow here does bend in at 90 degrees. Uh, no other articulation here apart from on the wrist, which spins the full 360 here, as you can see. Um, same as the other arm as well. Uh, he does have full 360 at the waist here, but uh, he doesn't bend up or down, which is kind of annoying. And uh, his legs do come out and back, but they don't come out and allow him to do the splits either. And uh, there's no other articulation on the leg here apart from the 90 degree bend at the knee here. Uh, there's no foot articulation either. It's not really a great amount of articulation on this figure at all. When it comes to accessories, Jack comes with his World War II pistol, which you can see here, which isn't really detailed that great. You can kind of see some detail on there, on the uh, barrel, for example, and uh, on the little sort of six-shooter thing there. But, um, you know, it's it's all kind of made out of black plastic and really does make it look kind of cheap and nasty. And, you know, it would have been nice if they'd uh, coloured in the sort of the grip and the handle like a little better. But, uh, as you can see, it's just made out of black plastic and that really is kind of annoying. However, it does fit in Jack's hand really well, because as you can see, the mould of his hand there allows him to hold it really, really well in there, so that really does look great. But unfortunately, because of the restricted articulation, as you can see, you can't really have him in any really sort of grip sort of pose with it in his hand, so that's kind of a letdown. Jack also comes with another neat little feature, which is this, 
which is his little torchwood display stand, which really does look excellent. As you can see, it's a nice little hexagonal design, which fits in with the torchwood logo. And the actual torchwood logo itself has actually been imprinted into the plastic here, which really does look so great. And I'm really happy that they've included this. I wish they would do this with some of the Doctor Who figures now as well, especially with that little DW insignia that they've got going on. So as you can see, there are two little pegs here on it, and uh, there are two little holes in the bottom of Jack's feet. So what happens is, you just literally pop this on, and as you can see, there you now have Jack on his little display stand, which really does look actually really excellent. And it looks so cool once up on your shelf as well. Plus, it prevents it from falling over because, like, I don't know about you, but I have all my Doctor Who action figures up on display, and the slightest knock will knock them over. So it's really great having this display stand. think of this figure well it's it's okay it's kind of fair one thing i do know is that i completely despise the packaging i think design wise it looks just awful it looks like a printer swallowed the torchwood opening titles and vomited them up all over some packaging it really does look awful uh but when it comes to the figure itself it is okay. I mean, the detail alone is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the face sculpt leaves kind of more to be desired. I do like the hair, though. I love the little vortex manipulator, and uh, the design of it is just really great. I love the little plinth that comes with it. That is perfect, too. But uh, as far as articulation goes, it leaves a lot more to be desired, and the face sculpt, like I say, could have been better, as could have um, the accessories. But... Um, uh, as far as it comes to Captain Jack figures anyway, this is right slap bang in the middle for me. Because, of course, there were two other Captain Jack figures released. Uh, this one, of course, from Series 1 uh, of Doctor Who, the uh, Empty Child and the Doctor Dances. And this one from Series 3 of Doctor Who from Utopia. Um, and, yeah, definitely, I love this one. This one's kind of okay. I hate this one. Um... Because to me, anyway, the one Captain Jack figure here that screams Captain Jack to me is this one. Because he's got the long coat. You know, he's got pretty much what this guy has here, except he doesn't have the coat. Uh, but it's just the coat that screams Captain Jack to me. So one thing that I would have really loved that they'd, they'd done with this figure would be to have interchangeable arms. We could pop these arms off here and put arms similar to these on and maybe put his little coat on. That would have been a cool little option, but uh, unfortunately they didn't. But, um, yeah, like I say, when it comes to the three Captain Jack figures that have been released, this one is slap bang right in the middle for me. So, it is kind of okay. If you're a big Torchwood fan, yes, definitely go out, get one, put it on display. It looks excellent on its little plinth. But, um, if you can track it down, go for this one because I think it looks excellent and probably has the best face sculpt. Although, I don't think any of them have a good John Barman face sculpt. So, I mean, John Barman's got a wonderful face. Why can't they replicate it in plastic? <laughs> anyway... So that kind of wraps it up. So thank you very much for watching this review. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's countless more reviews online at youtube.com forward slash votesaxon07. Thank you very much for watching and keep following those nerds. Bye-bye. <laughs>